My one and only beautiful sister, Fortunate. What are you doing here? Jason, I am hoping you're not going to start from where they stopped. I don't understand. I'm even regretting why I came back home. I've not even finished dropping my bag when mom and dad's guy is shouting at me. They were just shouting! Hey, 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 hey. You're in my office, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You've not said anything. Why was mom shouting at you? They're angry at me that I left school without calling. And that the moment I decided to take my bag, I would have put a call through to tell them that I was going to come to their house. Or better still, inform them that I'm on my way home so that they will be rest assured that I'm safe. Even when I was trying to explain to them that I wanted to give them a surprise, they paid no attention. Do you want to know the truth? You are wrong. They are right. What, King? You heard me right. You see, with the level of insecurity we have in this country, your family should always know your whereabouts. So that if anything happens, we know exactly where to start tracking you. King, you know what? You all are joy killers. I beg your pardon. Look, sis, you see. See what I brought home to come and show you people, but you people don't even pay attention to see. Just see my progress so far. Since mom and dad will not even listen to me, they'll just be shouting, yelling, and God, I'm just worried right now. <laughs> King, why are you laughing? Why shouldn't I laugh? It's a thing to celebrate. My younger sister is on the front page of an international magazine, and you expect me not to laugh. This is this is good. This is this is big. Wow, so. How did you pull this stunt? King, it is not a stunt. Look, my modeling career is beginning to take an international shape. I'm on the cover page on Merit King. Can't you see it? All right, that's enough. All right. I'll talk to mom. I'll see how she can understand with you. Thank you, King. Uh, this is massive. My kid sits on the front page of an international magazine. You can say that again, King. That's uh, just what I wanted them to see. This is really nice. I'm impressed. Thank you, King. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me. Love you. Is this really you? Uh -uh, I doubt it. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, my dear. You don't look okay. Are you all right? Do you mind telling me what the problem is? Um, ma, I'm, uh, I am surprised you are here by this time of the day. My auntie is not at home. She's still in her office and I have a feeling you know that. I know. Mm. Sit. Huh? Yes, sit down. I've not come to see your auntie. I've come to see you. You came to see me? Yes. Do you know my son, Kingsley? Yes. He once came here to see my Auntie Beatrice. Good. Since he met you, the only name he calls is your name. He says he wants to marry you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Marry me? Yes. How is that going to be possible? With God, everything is possible. He has chosen you over your cousin, Vivian, because of your good behavior. Hey, your son chose me, Etuande, over my cousin, Vivian. Yes. Ha. Ma, please. I, I, I don't know if you are joking or you are serious, but whatever it is, I'm passing through a lot already. I don't want to add more. Biko, if you are serious, it's not going to be possible. Not when my Auntie Beatrice is alive. She will not allow it to. In fact, they have warned me to stay clear of Kinsley. Now I know why. Please, I beg in the name of God. You won't understand. I'm passing through a lot already. I don't understand. With God, everything is possible. I understand your plight. And I know your aunt very well. But I want you to know one thing. Nobody can take away your destiny. They can only delay it. Ma, I don't know what else to say. You don't need to say anything now. But just think about what I told you. Okay? <clears throat> I'll leave. 
Just calm down. Everything will be fine. Okay? Excuse me, over Vivian. It's one day. It's one day. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Meiji. Oh, yeah, Meiji. Oh, yeah, Meiji. You said his child will never be gone. Anything. Yeah, what's up? Welcome. This one at your home this early. Is anything all right? Well, um, I didn't have much doing at work today, so I decided to come home to rest. Uh, I mean, if anything comes up, I have doctors at the hospital who are capable, and if they cannot handle it, they'll give me a call. I have a near-perfect structure in place. That's nice. There's no problems, just that everybody will be surprised to see you at home at this time. You know now. I don't understand. Have I suddenly become such a workaholic? Uh. Yes, now. You know what I mean. You've been working so hard and when you come back home, you look used. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough of me. Let's talk about you. What have you been up to? About me? Nothing serious. Just my modeling job. Aha. What well, is your modeling the reason you refuse to study abroad? Big will just wait. I don't know why everybody is so concerned about me traveling abroad for my studies. Look, there are good universities in this country and my school is among the best. Besides, I can still travel abroad for my uh, modeling, so it's not an excuse. Come on, but serious. <laughs> oh, stop. I know you too well. Hmm? So confide in me, tell me. What exactly is the reason you have refused to study abroad? Not like I'm refusing. Look, I want to start up a career in this country first. And then I can travel abroad for expansion or other degrees like MSc and PhD. I just <laughs> love modeling. And I'm doing well. Come on, support oh, your sister. Okay, 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 fine, fine. I support you, my chartered accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my brother. Doki, doki. What are we celebrating? Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi. Uh, Mommy, nothing. We're just having a discussion. Really? Yes, Mom. <laughs> what a surprise. You're home early. I hope all is well. All is well, Mom. I, I didn't have much to do at the office today, so instead of whiling away time, I'd rather come home and rest. That's nice. Really? Are you sure? Ah. Must you know everything? But mom is good to know a little of everything. Okay, my lecturer. <laughs> Go and um, set things up. I want to cook. Mm. I'm having a conversation with my brother. I'm coming back so we'll continue our discussion. I'll be here. Mom, sorry. <laughs> She's so uh, Sam. Are you sure this thing is going to work? Oh, I don't understand if what would work. Your association with our lady. Are you sure it will be possible? Why, why the sudden doubt? I went to their house. And I saw her so stressed up and depressed. That guy is really going through hell. And with this now, it will be increased. Because Beatrice will definitely see her as a distraction. So, what do you suggest I do? I suggest you forget about her. As a matter of fact, forget about that family. Look somewhere else. Mother, 
Auntie Beatrice will not detect who I would marry. Neither will she be an obstacle. I have made up my mind I will marry that girl. I'll find time to go see her and sort things out. See who? Oledo or Beatrice. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, kid. So how are you? I'm fine. Ma. That's it. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Um, what do I offer you? Uh, nothing, ma. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Sure. How's your mom? Oh, she's fine. She she sends her greetings. That's good. Oh, as a very busy doctor in town, I mean, how do you cope with your schedule? Uh, honestly, mom, it's not that easy. But you know, it's our work, so we've gotten used to it already. I trust you. Oh, unfortunately, um, Vivian just stepped oh, out. Mom, I... I haven't come to see Vivian. Oh, really? I came to see you, yes. Me? What for? Um... You want to talk about something? Yes, Mom. Okay, I'm all ears. I... I prayed very well before coming here, and I wouldn't... I wouldn't want you to see me as an unreasonable person. It's just that... No doubt, Vivian is a very beautiful girl of every standard, you see, but... I know. Truthfully, she does not possess the qualities that I need in a woman, and I cannot pretend to love her when I don't. So, for us not to do this in and out, then, I, I just... I just won't put myself in that position. I'm sure you understand. You know, there is no perfect woman. You just mold a woman into what you want her to be. Why will I label myself molding another when I have someone already molded to my taste? You will not marry her. I mean, how can you? That smelly, dirty girl. Oh, come on. I don't expect this of you. You are educated and enlightened. What you need is Vivian. She's classy. She's beautiful. She's got brains. If she stands beside you, the sky would be a stepping point. You can't choose her over my daughter. I don't understand. The one I chose is equally your daughter. She is not my daughter. You know what? Let's change the topic. Let's talk about something more exciting. What? Hi. Hi, Mom. Hey, uh, okay, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. You're looking good. Babe, sit. Sit down. Oh, darling. <laughs> it's been so long. I've been missing you. Hmm? Have you eaten? Should I get you anything to eat? Uh, he, he doesn't need uh, anything. <laughs> I know. I was just speaking with your aunt a while ago. It's a good thing that you're back. Listen, I... I know what you want to say. Please, I don't want trouble. I am passing through a lot already. If you stick to your decision, I'm going to have serious problem with my aunt. Please, she's already seen me as an obstacle. She may even kill me. Will you please. Calm, please calm down. Listen, calm down. I understand how you feel, but I want you to know that there is no problem without solution. Please calm down. Listen. Listen, my heart yearns for you. I can't deny it. It's real. Can't you see? I don't even know you well enough to marry you. Marriage is the least of my problems right now. I have to go, please. Uh, listen, listen. Hey. Oh, Oledo! I am an American trained doctor. I do not give up easily. You may equally be trained in Russia. That is not my business. You belong to me and no one else. Hi, Mom. Hello, princess. How do I look? Gorgeous. Thank you, Mom. 
Where are you off to? Okay, I'm going for a friend's birthday party. Mom, oh. why is King? Don't tell me he's still at work even on Sunday. Don't even try making a chest of him. Not. Well, he went to Auntie Beatrice's house. Now, I think I have to give you a little lecture. Okay, ma'am. As a medical doctor, even if they call him around 2 a.m., if there's an emergency, he has to go. But mom, there are other doctors at the hospital. Sweetheart, there is something they call areas of specialization. Okay, you win. I rest my case. Thank I you. I have to be on my way and I'm running it. All right, darling. Love you, mom. Love you, mom. Mom. Huh? Hey. Hi. Big bro. Back up. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Where are you going? To a friend's party. All right, be safe. Talk to me, baby. Thank you. Mommy, see you later. All right, be careful. Okay, thanks. So, son, how did it go? Honestly, mother, one will never believe that Aunt Beatrice is the devil's incarnate. Honestly, that woman is so rude. She's... Thank God I did not end up marrying her daughter. That would have been the biggest mistake of my life. What really happened? You needed to have seen the way she spoke to Olido. Mother, that woman has no conscience at all. In fact, she told me that she wouldn't have given me her consent. Now I see who Vivian took after. I said it. I saw it coming. There is no way Beatrice will give you her blessings if you leave her daughter for Oledo. I saw Oledo. She was returning from the market. Mother, you needed to have seen her. She was looking so depressed, so malnourished, so, so frustrated. Oh, girl. I don't know why she is treating her that way. Mom, that girl is going through hell. She needs help. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, she's going through so much stress already. Mom, I have to go back then. I mean, I, I need to have a word with her. Let's see how I can help her. Kingsley, if you can listen to me, leave that girl alone and let God fight for her. Mother, what if I am the girl that should fight for her? Kingsley, when did you start talking like this? I agree, she's a good girl. I like her too. <laughs> Leave Oledo alone. If you want to marry her, then be ready for the battles ahead. What if I'm ready? Okay, my mom will soon be with you. Okay. Do you need anything? No, I don't. Thank you. Okay. My friend, my friend. Uh, you sounded as if something was wrong. Antonia, I, I, I just don't like what your son did. He came to my house to insult me. Insulted you? Yes. How? Well, we had both agreed and suggested that Vivian and Kinsley would get married. I mean, if we had felt that it wasn't going to work, we wouldn't have planned it in the first place. Why are you sounding as if we are already quarreling? We're not quarreling. Listen, I know that my daughter messed up, but that's not why Kingsley should jump into conclusion. Hold on, hold on, let me get this. My son is interested in your niece, Oledo. He went to your house to let you know. How has he insulted you? Don't make me feel that both of you are in this together. That was an insult. No, my dear friend, I disagree with you. My son loves Oledo. And she's equally your daughter. Why are you behaving as if this whole thing is a do or die affair? Well, let me make something clear. If Kinsley is not going to marry my daughter Vivian, neither would he marry Oledo. Unfortunately, it is not in your place to dictate who my son marries. What is this? Why are you behaving as if you know who your daughter is? 
destined to marry. Whoever it is might be more hardworking and more prominent than my son. Why are you working yourself up? You know what? I have made myself clear. If Kingsley cannot marry my daughter Vivian, then he will not get close to Oledo. Better stop him, else you will not like the other side of me. Do have a great day, darling. American. Sorry for your son. After we plan something together, and at the last minute, the one to disappoint me. What other rubbish? Mom. Mother, hmm? why did Auntie Beatrice live like that? Hope there's no problem. No, not at all. Okay. So tell me, when is Daddy coming back from Ghana? Today. As a matter of fact, any moment from now. Good. I know he's the only one that can make you open up. Mom, that you're hiding something from me and it's obvious. It's telling all over you. Mommy, what is it? She told you all that. She did, but I'm not surprised. See the kind of friends you keep. That woman might be up to something. Yes, I've been thinking about it. But her son does not want to decline. Why must he decline? Because of Beatrice? Ah, uh, no. I'm not in support of that. Since she left, she has not been taking my calls. I'm not interested. She doesn't have any tangible reason for calling me. Maybe she just wants to explain one or two things, but I am not interested. I'm even beginning to hate that kiss. I beg your pardon. Why would you say that? Mom, he is classless. How can a man see someone like me and is interested in Olido? Dirty Olido, who has just three pants and two brows. They are on the same level. That's why he has no sense of fashion. If you knew the family we are talking about here, you wouldn't say what you just said. They are rich. I mean, extremely rich. They would never go poor in their lifetime. So think twice before you utter those words of hatred. I'll be going back to school tomorrow. And up till now, I have not heard anything positive about my career for mom. Why are you worried? She's a mother and I need her blessings to succeed as a woman. You may be right. But I also need you to look at it from a broader perspective. How do you mean? All right. Father is the head of the family and he has no problem with the career path you've chosen. Why not see that as the push that you need? King, I appreciate all the support I've been getting from Dad. That I can never forget. But please, you know Mother listens to you. I want you to help me talk to her. I need the support, please. I want you to know that a time will come in anyone's life when he or she will ignore every other person and follow their hearts. Especially when they are certain they are going through the right path. 
this is that point in your life and I need you to do the needful. Are you, are you trying to say I should forget about our mother? You're going back to school tomorrow, right? Yes. I need you to ponder over this issue. Open your heart. Follow your heart. And I tell you as your elder brother, you will have nothing to regret. Thank you, King. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. It's been so long, bro. Yes, so. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Nice dress. If you need anything else, you let me know. Come back and take this tray. Managing too. You know this banking thing and your stress. Mm. Back. No problem, I can understand. <laughs> Is that girl your cousin you told me about? Yes, she's the one. <sighs> Why is she looking like that? You know, for once I almost thought your mom got another maid. <sighs> How is that your problem? I beg just me. What's up with the guy you told me your mother wanted to pick you up with? Hey! My dear. My dear. Long story. See, me see trouble. I was at home one day when a guy who looked every inch a poorly paid civil servant came looking for my mom. You know me now. I talked to him rudely because of the kind of confidence he was showing. I didn't really know he was the one my mom was talking about. Are you serious? Hmm. Very serious. It was later on I got to find out he was the one. Vivian, this is not sounding good though. I have always told you to be cautious with the way you talk to people or treat people. You never can tell who is behind the picture. Hmm. So what happened? To tell you the truth, I really regret my action that day. I don't know what that witch did to him. He said he doesn't want me anymore but her. Who? Hmm? The girl that just served us? Yes, my cousin Oledo. Hey, Vivian, this is serious, so. It is. So you did not apologize? Hmm. Despite all my apologies, he still insisted that he wants Oledo, not me. And what did your mom say about this? Yeah, you know, my mom, she would never allow that to happen. Well, maybe you guys are not destined to be. Oh, if you ask me, I would say you should forget about this guy and his choice and move on with your life before the whole thing would look like you're forcing yourself on him. Who is this guy anyways? His name is Kinsley, a medical doctor who runs his father's hospital. He just came back from the US. He's now the medical director of his father's hospital. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean Dr. Kinsley of Trinity Specialist Hospital? You sound as if you know him one-on-one. -on -one. I know him! Oh. That is our family hospital. That guy is the talk of the town now. People are already giving him credit with the way he does his job. People even prefer him to his father as a new medical director. And you know what? People are now rushing that hospital because of him. You know, I met him when I followed my mom for her medical checkup and he was introduced as the new medical director and as the son of the former medical director. Vivian, you have messed up. Yes, I have. I know you must have learned your lessons now. My dear, I have. But I have, I have already forgotten about him. There are thousands of guys out there. But one thing is for sure, he will never marry Oledo.
City mama, <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm supervising the plants that I paid the gardeners heavily to take care of. Hmm, they spent quality time here. I'm mm -hmm. sure they know what they're doing. Exactly. Oh, by the way, I am. Um, I think we need to strategize. On what exactly? Well, I I I met uh, Kinsley's mom, and oh we... please, mom, forget about Kinsley. This whole thing is beginning to look as if I'm forcing myself on him and I don't like that. I don't! I After all, he's not the only man on earth. I thought we had gone past the stage. You see, all I'm trying to say is we need to do something. Mom, I have made up my mind. Kingsley can go. But one thing is for sure. He will never marry Oledo. Of course he will never marry Oledo. You are the one that he's going to marry. Trust me on that. I know what I'm doing. You wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you sow, you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. Yeah. I remember all the promises you made to the living and the dead. Said you bring the hopes alive while you're crushing them future. Is it nice? Is it right? To say something you don't mean to do Nobody owns tomorrow Nobody has tomorrow Wait, wait, wait! Listen, it's glaring. I mean, from your countenance, it is obvious that you're not comfortable with me being here. Thank God you noticed. I'm already in a lot of trouble because I let you in. Point of correction. You never let me in. You wanted me out! But I forced myself in. And that is because I want us to have this meeting. Have meeting with you? How? Listen, I know what is running through your mind. But it's not going to work. It will not work! Olido. Listen to me. I have not come here to ask you to marry me again. I came for more important issue. Listen, I don't want my, my, my auntie to come here and see us together. Nabanu Biko, leave! Go! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll go. There, is, there are things I need to explain. What is going on here? Hey. Oh, God. Uh, welcome, ma. <laughs> welcome. Good afternoon, ma. I ask again, what is going on here? Um, actually, I was just uh, trying to, you know, say a few... Now, you listen. You do not come to visit my home unannounced. Next time you want to come to my house, you give me a call, all right? Now, please leave. Auntie, this is Kinsley Kennedy. Kinsley Kennedy. Did you not hear what she just said? Hmm? She said, get out. You fool. Get out. Oh, son. Where have you been? I went to visit Oledo and my mistress walked in and she became furious. She asked me out of her house. Beatrice asked you out of her house? I don't even want to talk about it. Where's father? He's inside. 
Where are you off to? I want to go to the mall. Let me know what they are doing. All right, now I'll see you when you get back. All right. Let's take it easy, okay? Ma, please. I am saying the truth. I, 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 I did not invite him. I did not let him in. He, 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 he forced himself inside. The crook right here will not help you. Who invited a classless doctor here? Who? I swear on my life. In fact, I swear on my mother's grief. I did not invite him. I, I had a knock on the door. I opened the door I, 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 and he forced himself inside. Really? Yes, ma. You didn't invite him? Yes, ma. Okay. So, what were you people talking about? Not they know. We're not talking about anything. I, I was telling him to go before you came in. Mm. Yes, ma. Mom, you see? I told you that this girl has graduated into so many things. Okay. Stop underestimating her. Now see what is happening. Look at it! I swear I'm telling you the truth. I know. So you're not lying to me? No, 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 I cannot lie to you. You flaunted my instructions. And you let him in. He forced himself. Hmm? He forced himself. I see. You want to bite the fingers that are feeding you. No, ma. You know what? Please. That your witchcraft will not work. Yes. You want to use witchcraft and turn Kingsley away from marrying my daughter. Oh. Now you have to leave. Uzubo, Uzubo. Leave my house. Here's hmm. your transport. And have a safe trip. One. Mama, no, please. I, I don't have anywhere to go to, Mama, please. Uh, please, forgive. Help me. I, well, I don't know. I don't even know what I've done wrong. Please. Yes. Please. No, no, no. You don't know what you have done wrong, eh? You don't know what you have done. Oh yes, get out. You heard her. Help Mona, me, help me beg her. Go back to your useless village. Please. Okay, you're still waiting. Please. Please. Mama. Please. Mama. Yes, oh, please. Get out. Please. Get out. Go back to where you're coming from. Go back to your useless village. Yeah, please, I mean. Husband snatch. I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't have anywhere to go to. Please. What are you still waiting? I beg you, I Mama. beg. You say this child would never amount to anything. Oh yeah, Betty. Oh yeah, Betty. Hello, Beatrice. What are you doing in my house? Kind of a question. What's the meaning of that question? I have come to see my friend. Tonya, I am not your friend. Better leave my compound before I do something I'll regret. What is wrong with you, Beatrice? Hmm? What is it? Why don't you allow destiny take its course? What is it? Tonya, Except I am not alive. Your son would never marry Oledo. Why didn't I know all these years that you are this wicked? Well, let me tell you something. If both of them are meant to be together, with or without your consent, the will of God must surely prevail. Get out of my house now. I am leaving. But mark my words. Classless non-entity. Parading herself like a woman with class. By the time I am done with you and your son, you will know to respect a woman in charge. Yes, sir. Yes, Dad. Now that you are on your annual leave, are you planning on traveling out? <laughs> are you not the one forcing me to take a leave? And that is because it is the right thing to do. A doctor should work 
for some time and I'm back on leave. <laughs> oh, there is no mother. <laughs> oh, and to think I once called her my friend. This whole thing is crazy. She's a sadist. That girl's life is in danger. She might kill her. She might kill that innocent girl. Oh. Uh, I would be right to conclude that you're making reference to Beatrice, your friend. Yes. Oh, I don't want to discuss a woman who don't want to understand mm. a simple thing. I'm mm. oh, sorry, mm. the hospital. Excuse me, please. Mm. Hello? Yeah, this is Dr. Kinsley. Is everything all right? I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Hmm. What's the problem? I'll call from the hospital, I need to get there. One second, let me check. Hey. The life of a dedicated doctor. It's our job and we are not complaining. Well, I pity you guys. It's our job. So, Dr. Ben, who brought her here? Well, nobody brought her. Um, the nurse at the front office actually said she was asking after you before she passed out. I mean, that was why I had to call you. She might be a family member. Because she's more than a family member to me. Thanks for calling me. Thank you. It's okay. oh, come on. You. you are the chief here. Anything for you both. Thank you. So, how are you feeling? Now that you can talk, can you tell me what happened? <laughs> uh, no, no, Ali, do don't do this now. It's not good for your health, okay? This is not good for your condition at all. Don't cry, please. It's alright, just rest. We'll talk about it later. It's okay. It's okay. Good no, morning, doctor. Good morning, how are you? Fine, doctor. How was your night? It's very good. Um, all right, Oli, do this is. The nurse I have assigned to you, she'll take care of you, administer your drugs and injection that's at Wendy, okay? Um, nurse is a very special patient to me. You must pay good attention to her. Whatever she wants to give to her, I mean whatever she wants. Do you understand? Yes, doctor. Good. Sweetheart, let me just rush you and change her. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright. Take very good care of her. Okay? Yes, doctor. How are you feeling now? Feeling better. Okay. Is he angry with me? Come on, don't say that. Dr. Kingsley never gets angry with anybody. Not even with the patient. What would you like to eat? Anything at all and I'll get it for you. You have started to sleep at the hospital again. For heaven's sake, you are the medical director. You should learn how to delegate the responsibilities. I know, mother. Something came up and I had to stay back at the hospital. But that option was my best judgment. Do you mind sharing with us? All right. They called me because a woman collapsed in front of our office. What? What did you diagnose eventually? I hope the said woman is okay now. Well, she's okay, and the said woman happens to be your lady. Oh my God. What? I had to run a detailed medical examination on her, and afterwards, I just couldn't, I just couldn't leave. I had to stay back with her, you know. Just try to be there for her. You mean the girl is at the hospital as we speak now? Yes, Father, but she'll be fine. I mean, she's responding to treatment, so. Why did she collapse in the first place? Was she malnourished? Well, I wouldn't know. I tried to ask her severally, but she burst into tears and... I decided to just let her rest. Well, good thing that um, she came to your hospital, so that you can find a way around everything so fast. All the same, you will come home, son. I'm still so surprised at Beatrice. The same person who brought you to help you is the same person who is against you. 
Oh, no. I pleaded with her that I didn't have anywhere to go to. But she insisted that I should leave her house. All because my son indicated interest in you? Why is she like this for St. Peter's sake? Huh. I don't know what I did to her that made her change her mind towards me. When my mother died, she said she would send me to school. But when it was time for jam registration, she said that she wait until next year. She told me to sleep in her house. And since then she has been frustrating me. Ah, it's becoming clear to me that God has a reason for everything. But um, my wife will not have problem with you staying here with us as we find a way to inform your people that you are now living with us. Hmm? Of course not, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. It's obvious that God has a hand in this. Thank you. Oh, Thank no, you so much. No, no, no. Thank you. Get up, get up, get up. Everything will be fine, okay? I think we need to team up with a strong and reliable company to be able to handle the contract. You don't have to worry, Mom. I will take care of that. It doesn't need to put up a call to few people and everything will be in place. I always seem to forget that you're the business guru here. So I'll just sit back and let you navigate the show. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking of something. What? I think you need to travel to the village to check up on Olido. To be sure she actually travels to the village like you instructed. <laughs> you know, the problem I have with the Chia Omenka Fulanana is that at this age, he doesn't have a phone. It doesn't make sense. Maybe he has no need for it. Oh, please. You know, these village men, what they consider as important are always very useless things. The last thing I want to do is see that man right now. What do you have to? Just to exonerate yourself in case anything happens to her. Oh well. I gave her money to travel with, but um, she never took it. Why? I wouldn't know. She left the money outside with the sleepers I bought for her. Maybe she wants to prove that she never got anything from me. That's a fat lie. She has been stealing from you. That is how she managed to get the money she used for her transport. But you still need to go to the village before the case to know that she no longer stays here with us. I don't want any trouble from those village people. No, no, I don't. Nobody, absolutely no one needs any trouble from the village. But this new wine you bought, is it nice? Mm. Mm. Enjoy it already, cheers. Hi, Mom. Welcome, sir. Where have you been? I was with the agent concerning the house. Oh, really? Yeah. So, how did it go? Oh, perfect. Everything is in order. It's just that you need to touch it and everything will be fixed. That means um, soon you will move in. No, no, not exactly. They. Um, interior decorator was commissioned today, so I'm sure uh, a week or two it should be fixed. Take that's nice. Wow, that's very nice. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Ma, lunch is served, ma. Thank you very much. We'll be joining you soon. Welcome, sir. Is that Olido? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, she... Yes, I know she is beautiful, but I never knew she was this beautiful. Well, what she needed was just a little touch up and her beauty comes out. That was exactly what I did. Wow. You see, I like her so much. She's a good girl and I know she will make a good wife. So son. What are you waiting for? Oh, mother, calm down. I don't want it to look like I'm 
taking advantage of her helplessness to make her my wife. Don't reason like that. You can see how beautiful she is. Hmm? Why don't you do the needful? Uh, by the way, Senator Ikem and his son came here and the boy was just asking me who she was. I don't understand. Why is he asking after my woman? Which your woman? She's not your woman yet. If you want her to be your woman, you have to make her that. Well, son, it is better you do the needful on time before too many eyes will start flashing towards her. I have heard you, Your Majesty. Oh, no. I am just a medical doctor's wife. Let us go and eat. Mm. Uh, mother, one more thing. You know, when prominent people like that come to, to look for you, just let her be inside of the kitchen. She doesn't have to come out. When she's not your maid. When you do certain things in life, do you ever think of tomorrow at all? How can you send her back to the village? And what is wrong with that? Is that where she was brought from? If she cannot fit in her, it's only a day she goes back to where she came from. Are you really my friend and you're this heartless? Vivian, that babe is a daughter to your mother's sister. You may call her your cousin, but in traditional African setting, she's your sister. Oh, please. A fool can never be my sister. Do you even know the pain of what she did? That babe did nothing to you, Vivian. You lost that suitor because your attitude has always been bad. Please, don't insult me. I am not insulting you. I am telling you the truth. Your loss became your sister's gain. You shouldn't hold that against her. Well, unfortunately, that is not my business. My mom was the one who brought her. And if the person who brought her decides to take her back, how is that my business? How? Vivian, you could have stopped her, but you didn't, and I know why. You loved what your mother did. If you ask me, you're just as guilty. Please, can I have the form you brought for me to fill? Or I should take my business elsewhere, since you cannot stop interfering in my personal life. Gosh! Listen, if you know Kinsley, tell him that I said that he will never marry Oledo. That is my word. I may be wrong, but now I know what your mother was saying. I don't understand. She said that since you became the medical director, you have refused to operate from your father's office. Looking at this place, I feel she's right. <laughs> So I ask, what is your reason for not using your father's office? It is obvious that you've been bought over. <laughs> they got me here now that they've involved you. I'll relocate to my father's new office. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. You know, you have a way of always making me feel special. But you are special, aren't you? So, um, tell me, what do you intend to do with your future? Well, I, I want to go back to school. My late father wanted me to become a lawyer, a big lawyer in Omodekwa. I wish to give him that. And you will give him that? You see, you are not just going to be a big lawyer in Omodekwa. You are going to be one of the biggest lawyers the world will celebrate. My father is the Chancellor of Anambra State University. I'll have him talk to one or two relevant authorities. I'm sure they would give you admission. Probably next week you could start up school. Next week? Next week. Yes, Just like that. that. Just like that. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know how to appreciate you and your family for all you have been doing for me. My God will bless you all. 
Thank you very much. And God will bless you too. You see, I want you to know that you deserve even more. I want you to know that if you want anything, please do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Beatrice, the big woman. You're welcome. Thank you. Just tell me the kind of wine you want to drink. Is it red wine or some other wine? I'm not drinking. I have told you not to bother yourself. I'm fine. Really? Mm -hmm. So how is all my daughter? Is she not here? What do you mean? For a week now, I've not seen her late. Well, I, and that is why I'm here. I wanted to find out if she came back. I don't understand. What are you saying? Can you come out clear? What what exactly are you saying? You know, initially when I took her to the city, she was a nice and decent young girl. Hey, please, Beatrice, you don't need to tell me about the decency, about the decent nature of Oledo. We raised her here and we can attest to her extreme decent quality. Let me tell you, anybody who marries Oledo, marries an Well, I'm sorry to say that those angelic qualities are no longer there. What? Mm -hmm. When she came into the city, she behaved herself because she was timid and very naive. But the minute she got to know the city and made some friends, all later changed. I don't understand. She started keeping bad companies. Are you serious? I'm you. Oledo, Oledo changed? Yes. I actually registered her for jam. Yes, you said, said you would do that. Can you believe she never made the cut of man? Because she did not study. She was busy roaming around the city with those bad girls. Huh? After a while, you know, I, I wasn't happy with what she was up to, so I wanted to bring her back to the village. Then I said to myself, this is my sister's daughter, my niece, that we're talking about. What's the point of bringing her to the village to come and waste? And then I got a business proposal from Abuja. I had to leave for Abuja. Only for me to come back and Oli, there was nowhere to be found. Just like that? How, how, no, how is this possible? You mean that Oli do change to that extent? Oli do change? I can't even believe it. I don't know what led to it, but Oli do? <laughs> it's not the Oli do he used to know. Hey! I don't know what to do. You, you don't know what to do. So what, what? What? What am I going to do now? No, no, no. Well, to an extent, I don't know what to do. But I've already reported the case to the police. They were the ones that advised me to come home and find out if she's here. You know, but uh, to fulfill all righteousness, here I am, and there's no Oledo. But there's something you need to know. What? Oledo has her eyes on going up. She wants to go out there and start her full-time prostitution. Ah! Olido. Olido. But are you sure that something very wrong has not happened to Olido? Ah, Olido. Something happened to her. Olido is a hard nut to crack. Is it the same Olido? The same Olido, you know. Nothing can ever happen to her. Besides, who knows? Maybe she took off with one of her boyfriends. What? Boyfriends? I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. You mean the same old lady who left here, possibly a virgin, has now grown to keeping boyfriends? Old lady has boyfriends. <laughs> different shapes, different sizes, different colors, different occupation, different religion. <laughs> She has bankers, she has mechanics. She Mechanic has shoemaker. A politician that has not gone beyond his local government as a boyfriend. Uh, Oba Sela, one hand uh, uh, boyfriend. Who gives her Oba on credit? And when she cannot pay, she pays with her. Uh, I'll mm -hmm. the same this is, this is not good. What is happening? But I'm believing and I'm praying that someday she will get back her senses. Hey, what is wrong with Olido? How can she be doing that? You're just feeling 
What did they love her? This is so disturbing. You're feeling pain the same way I have been feeling. Sometimes I like, I've cried over and over again, but I said to myself, it is okay. But you know what? I, I have to go back to the city because the police are waiting for me to come back with some kind of result. You know, I can't keep them waiting so that they can continue with the investigation. It's okay. It's okay. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not happy at all. This is not the kind of news I was expecting. I know, I know, it's terrible. But it's all right. I, I, I have to start going. Nice, I enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you come, 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 Did you, did you hear that? I don't trust that one. What? It is possible she wanted to use her lady to make money from men and the poor girl refused. And she's coming to tell you all those things. So why done. must you bring your twist to everything? I am I don't understand. How can you say something like that? Did you hear what she said? How her lady has changed? Now I know her lady very well. There is no way she can do all that that the woman just said. Although it's possible, it's not possible at all. So I advise you investigate the matter yourself. Uh, uh, you do you know what, Agnes? Just go into your room. Pack this is like what, what? What? What are you saying? Actually, investigate this matter. Am I, I, I a police officer? The person who has gone to the police, can the police cannot do anything. Police referred her back to this place. You are telling me to investigate. But you are saying what? It has boiled down to what I said when she came here to carry her lady. I had preferred her lady to be here with me. You, you, you're not even born. You said this child will never amount to anything. Oh, yeah, I'm I can't believe you told him all that. Of course. I did. What do you expect? And the fool believed you. He had no choice. Because the way I started relating the story to him, he had no choice than to listen. You know, initially he was calm. But the, by the time I tabled everything, he was so angry and disappointed in her. Hmm. Hey, it's more me. What if only the finds her way to the village? I beg. Whether she finds her way to the village or not, that one is not my business anymore. As far as I'm concerned, that case is closed. I can picture your face when you were telling him that. Ah, that's all they do. <laughs> when I think of her, I just laugh. She actually thinks she would have something to do with Kinsley. Ah, I don't blame her. But guess what? By the time I am done with her, she will regret ever laying her eyes on Kinsley or hearing that name. Kingsley. Mm. Ah, she hasn't seen anything yet. She hasn't seen anything. Sincerely speaking, Sandra, I am so disappointed in Dr. Kingsley. How could he think of marrying such a girl? What is wrong with her? She is a beautiful woman. And visibly, she looked like someone from a distant background. As you are aware, we're talking about a girl who has not gone beyond school set. What would a medical doctor of his class be doing with a girl like that? He can assist her further her education. The issue here is, he loves this girl and wants her for himself. Come on. How are we even sure that this whole fainting of a thing at the reception is not still managed just to get the MD? How can you say that? You were the one that attended to her initially. You practically brought her back to life. Why then would you say the whole thing was staged? Yeah, somebody has to attend to her. I'm just trying to understand what he would be doing with her. From what I gathered, he had already made his intentions towards her known from somewhere before now. 
he told me she was passing through a terrible phase and he managed to be the one she remembered. Dr. Ben, wish them good luck and face your business. Anedo. My husband and I have come to the conclusion that we will see your uncle next week. So I want you to be prepared. Ma, there is no preparation. I'm ready whenever you are. Even now. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> you are a lady. Mother what? we must not be taken on our ways. Hmm? Thank you, sir. There is something I would like to say to you, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know how best to put it. But I want you to know that I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. And you would make me the happiest man if you say yes to the question I'm about to ask you. Later, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Uh, congratulations, son. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome to my family. Thank you. I'm so happy. And I pray that God will continue to bless this union. Amen. Amen. We will live together. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. It was all nice. Because I know Olid. Our own Olido, I know her very well. Terrible lies, actually. She actually alleged that old lady was planning to relocate to Europe for prostitution. That's what she said on that. It was indeed a, a terrible phase in all those life. That woman turned her into a slave. No, she is the one that will remain forever a slave. She thought she is punishing Oledo. Actually, she drove Oledo to her destiny. God is wonderful. Mm. Nothing is hidden before God. She was my wife's best friend, but nobody knew that she could be this heartless. I thank God that things are turning out this way now. You know, Dr. Kennedy, sometimes situations will occur that will make you understand that some of the people you hold in high esteem are actually not yes. what they appear to be in real life. I am indeed very delighted, but it is very glaring that we have seen it. No matter how hard human beings may try, they cannot change the destiny of somebody who God has decided to bless. That is it. That is what she tried, and uh, it didn't work out. God actually has opened another page in all of those life, and we can only praise him. On behalf of my family, I want to thank you for this decision you have taken. <laughs>